Paul Lake is the new centre half and the new captain. There are five former Everton players in that lineup. Hinchcliffe has survived the anticipated defensive shuffle by Colin Harvey. Kevin Ratcliffe returns to captain the side. Parts of Main Road aren't quite there. Customary shade of rural green. Stan Gibson's renowned playing surface has played host to 200,000 rock fans this summer and has the scars to prove it. Sharp finding Milligan. Such an athlete, poor leg. Adrian Heath was saying to me yesterday that Lake is as talented a footballer as he's ever played with. And that's quite a compliment when you think of the likes of Trevor Stephen and David Platt. Here's Adrian Heath himself. There's talent for you. Neville Southall mystified as to how Adrian Heath was allowed so much space. But what a lovely moment for the little man. Scorer of four of Everton's last five goals on this ground, would you believe? And now the scorer of a goal against Everton. And where did he come from? There were three lanes of motorway between Keown and Watson, and Heath found the centre lane. That bounced off Watson, I think. Adrian Heath! Turned round by Southall, key saved by the big man, applauded by the little man. Quinn got beyond Ratcliffe, Adrian Heath, didn't expect it, Mark Ward, Mark Quinn! Even he wasn't big enough. Just dabbed back in by Poynton, nobody there but Southall. Now the referee has penalised Evan. Maybe that Southall just strayed beyond the D there. It's quite a wall that Everton have assembled, although it's got two blue bricks in it. Lake, great save. Can't have seen much of that. Powerfully struck by Paul Lake. Heath, that's brilliant. Right well. Milligan in the way. Watson in the way. Harper's there. Adrian Heath. Oh! He could have put it beyond any doubt then. Newell. The opening week of the season is a barren one for Everton. But Manchester City's season is off and running, thanks to Adrian Heath. His goal after nine minutes gives us a final score of Manchester City 1, Everton 0.